you have this weird convergence that's been happening with like this um conservative right with like super lefty liberal types with fashion twitter or fashion social media and instagram also included and with like what would you call them like brand loyalist the kind of people who like only have things to say about stuff when everyone is saying it but when it's time to say things about stuff that they probably should have a principled stance on they just don't say that they don't say say anything at all they're kind of completely stum. um it's kind of all those people have kind of converging all at once they're kind of all reaching this apex point where it's all kind of been blown up so if you don't know anything about it essentially Ben Shock has come into some hot water because of these adverts that they put out there promoting the kids line i guess that they were soon to be debuting and it decided in some of these spreads to include these images where they got these little kids holding up these little golf birds right but some would interpret them as being bdsm bears because they do look like you know outfits that you might see somebody wear if they were going to a you know like kit kat a pornceptual a berghain or whatever it may be this is maybe what they might have worn if they was going to a um, crossbreed rip in all those little places so it makes sense why people would see that image or these images and be like horrified these little precious angels are carrying such demonic <laughs> um teddy bears right um especially once they're, st they're standing around strudel and all this kind of you know over consumption and materialism in their rooms and stuff it's a little bit too much to deal with so um let's kind of just read the article and kind of go over what i think about it so earlier this month balenciaga dropped this holiday ad campaign featuring children holding teddy bears in bondage harnesses and costumes the bdsm accessories were also on the runway of balenciaga show at paris fashion week the backlash against the images has been swift with the hashtag cancel balenciaga trending across twitter and tw tiktok many accusing the brand of its creator director demna of condoning pedophilia transportation in a separate ad that dropped in november 21st promoting balenciaga spring 2023 collection a bag of the fashion houses collaboration adidas was photographed to top copies that that appear to be documents from a supreme court case called united states and williams a ruling that upheld protection protect act which increased federal protections against child pornography both campaigns quickly became conservative talking points and sparked conspiracy theories so obviously you see the thread there with the conspiracy theory and shoot on there on november 22nd the fashion house issued two statements via its instagram stories apologizing for the plush bears which they said should not have been featured in the child with children this campaign as well as the unsettling documents in a separate spring um campaign we take this matter very seriously and taking legal action against the parties responsible for our unapproved items of our spring 23 campaign photo shoot we strongly commend abuse of children in form we stand for children's safety and well-being now my controversial point of view of this is that i don't necessarily think it's as big as the deal as people are making it out to be but i also think it kind of displays and illustrates how vapid and empty most of fashion is and it doesn't really stand on anything it's all just art for the sake of art and maybe this is also a natural kind of conclusion or the natural end point of trolling or trying to go with people into a reaction, which is them has always kind of done, even at the, even at the better mark. I think the, that 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 element of cynicism, of kind of mischief and stuff when it comes to fashion can sometimes get boring really quickly and i think a lot of people jumped off better mark for that because they felt that they were getting constantly trolled and basically taking the piss out of in a kind of tongue-in-cheek wink wink type of way and some people just don't respond too well to it i know myself right i've tried to joke and kind of you know um kid around with some people and they just don't take it too well everyone's got kind of a breaking point and maybe in fashion some people just take their fashion seriously more than others and they want it to mean for they want it to stand for certain things and to stand against other things when really the name of the game is just to sell loads of clothes that we don't all need that will end up in the bottom of the ocean somewhere strangling a turtle that is the reality of this right some poor kid somewhere in india is stitching this stuff together for you know half a penny per hour and now we're arguing about fucking teddy bears absolutely crazy but it displays that to me it also displayed to me why context is probably the most important thing when it comes to fashion really really is the most important thing because the context of these teddy bears on the runway that Kanye West opened actually let's keep that also in mind right these fucking geniuses <laughs> decided to get him on board to lead that show out then he decided to go on the heel turn and they delete his image now what are they going to start deleting these pictures that's funny thing have they deleted these pictures though no they haven't delete the picture of Kanye walking down the runway but they don't delete the picture of a model holding a teddy bear hmm but these teddy bears were featured in the spring 2023 collection runway show 
and no one really raised much of a stink about them at all if anything no one said an absolute word when these were on the runway so it definitely goes to show that most people don't care they only care when it obviously affects them in any kind of certain way and because people hold children to be sacred and you put these ba you put these flipping horrendous bears which i think is just terrible to look at number one forget what the meanings or what they feelings they might elicit They're just ugly looking bears to so put those in the hands of these precious innocent angels is obscene and horrible and disgusting to say the least we all know this but as i said before context matters when those images in the runaway came out no one cared immediately you place those same bears um with some babies and then suddenly everyone's getting upset and everyone's getting pissy about it it also shows to me as well these companies don't really have that great of a handle on what society or larger society is doing they kind of exist in their own little bubble because the reaction and the apologies and the you know clarifications from blend have been terrible probably been worse than the actual spread itself the fact that they tried to not once or twice i think they tried to basically throw the photographer under the bus even though we know if, even if you're not a fashion head you should know that photographers have little to no say to the creative direction of a shoot they're essentially photographers they're like paid guns for hire they basically come along they shoot the campaign but all the creative and all the ideation that goes behind the themes the set all that stuff is chosen by people who produce the thing to who produce the shoot together maybe it's in conjunction with a designer with a creative director with a sales team whatever it is but photographers have very little to do in the creative um you know or the ex you know, in the creative aspect that goes into a shoot maybe the execution they obviously do but the creative bit they don't do so they tried to bury them. Then they tried to bury the production company that, that helped to put this together. And production is far reaching. Production is very broad. It could mean just you putting a photographer in the same room as a stylist. That could count as production. It could mean you helping them to formulate or to kind of put together what the idea of the shoot should be. That could also be production. But to throw them under the bus, um, making it seem like they were responsible for it, was disgusting and obscene to say the least. And they've basically taken zero to no personal responsibility about the whole thing then demna's refusal to really speak about it has been pretty telling and kind of i think for the most part should open up people's eyes in terms of like how very little these guys care about social issues or what's going on in real life because he kind of flat out refused to comment and say anything about it until it got too bad and i think maybe with the leaking of the messages i saw I think Kanye maybe linked a message where he was talking to Demna and Demna was like, oh, Demna's for love. Love is Demna. All those kind of vague nonsense kind of comments that people, you know, elites kind of make to sort of quell any sort of unrest and don't necessarily say anything. But obviously it got to a breaking point where he had to officially say something and he did on Instagram. This is Demna's message that he put out there, his personal message. He says, I want to clarify the personal apologies for the wrong artistic trace of concept for the gifting campaign with the kids i take my responsibility it was inappropriate to have kids promote objects that had nothing to do with them as much as i would sometimes like to provoke a thought through my work sometimes i would never have an intention that with such an awful project or awful so awful subject as child abuse that i condemn period come on I want to learn from this, listen and engage with the child protection organization to know how I can com contribute and help on this <laughs> terrible project. I apologize to anyone who offended with the visuals and the Balenciaga um, has guaranteed that adequate measures will be taken not only to avoid similar mistakes in the future, but also to take accountability in protecting child welfare in every way we can. Sincerely, Demna so pretty no vague of you know general whatever apology but in the end i feel like the only thing that I currently needs to be said about this is it goes to show that in general fashion doesn't necessarily stand for anything i don't think these guys generally went into the shoot trying to elicit thoughts of child trafficking of child abuse or any sort of thing i just literally do think it was one of those kind of oh let's try and be edgy let's try and be cool Let's try and be subversive. Um, you know, I'm sure if you're putting together a shoot for a company and they decide to do a shoot in the office and you need to get some props and some papers 
it might be quite edgy and quite funny to go online and figure out some court rulings or court documents that you can get a hold of maybe some acts that put into play as controversial they may be in print those out and put them on the, on the flipping table that might be somewhat cool especially it might be a good way for you to kind of get some props and you know tell somebody over cocktails like hey i was a person that printed those documents and gave that shoot the extra edge i just literally think that was the intention and that was it it didn't really go as far as i don't think it's as deep as people are making it out to be but i do welcome the scrutiny of the normies the scrutiny of the conservative right that they're kind of laying it thick on the fashion elites and essentially making them have to justify and clarify the things that they do because i think for the longest time these motherfuckers have tried to pretend like what they do is very deep it's not that deep some of them are better than others but for the most part it's not as deep as you think it is they all are employed to make you know cool pieces of clothing that people will try and buy season in season out even though they bought something last season so it's not the most um uh, ingenious um occupation in the world but it's also not the deepest but they try to make it seem as if they try to make it seem these guys are philosophers and thought leaders and you know that they have something to actually say about everyday life when they don't they're basically a mirror to what we have going on in life sometimes they can act as an amplifier but in terms of talking and giving real thought and attention into what people are, go are going about in their everyday life they don't have any any idea whatsoever it's just a shoe and essentially blew up in their faces and i'm happy with that to be honest because i've never in my personal opinion anyway i've never really been comfortable with this whole um let's make kids into consumers thing that's been going on in fashion and in streetwear i think i saw it kind of being obviously recent example would be essence if i'm not mistaken essence recently launched like a kids um section of their site where essentially you can buy the same designers that you'd find on the main site and kid versions so as rick owens and all these other high luxury level type of branding and i feel it's, i feel like it's always been gr gross like you know giving your kid a baby rolex giving the kid balenciaga sneakers is just terrible it's already bad enough when you're a consumer and you're a slave to these brands when you're an adult but i feel like when you're a child you should be allowed to be a kid and then you decide to flip in spunk all your money to these flipping nonsense fashion companies that don't stand for anything then that's one thing but to subject those kids to materialism at that kind of age and for them to place that kind of value on those sort of things is gross because you see it especially in the videos of these rappers who share videos of them kind of putting gold chains and you know watches expensive clothes on their kids you can see in the kids eyes that they're figuring out that their parents put a lot of value in this and this means something they don't actually have any idea what the value of this is and what it actually means but they can see it in their parents eyes and they start reacting to it and suddenly you're you know b before you know it you're flipping breeding or you're flipping um helping this monster to evolve into a bigger monster when they get older it's, it's honestly setting this stuff a fail so hopefully this will be the end of trying to make kids to be runway models and just let them be kids when they're kids and then if they want to grow up to be consumers fair enough that is but forcing them to wear those type of clothes and having them have this level of expectation and entitlement and all that sort of stuff is just gross beyond belief in my opinion gross beyond belief